Do you know the famous celebrity trainer, Bob Harper, from the reality show, The Biggest Loser? Maybe not, but he suffered a massive heart attack despite being young and active. In Canada alone, a population greater than the size of Toronto lives with heart disease and spends over $2 billion every year. A heart attack can happen to anyone, even you. In case you're thinking, I exercise, I maintain a healthy weight, why would I be at risk? Then you would be on the same page as Mr. Harper. During a workout, he suffered a heart attack and was rushed to the hospital where he was diagnosed with a mild heart disorder. Harper is not alone. There are many like him. So why do we have a heart attack? Studies have shown that an individual with a genetic illness to get a heart disease will greatly suffer from a heart attack. After a heart attack, millions of heart cells are lost, resulting in heart failure. Hearts, unlike other organs, cannot heal itself, which means that they cannot pump enough blood for the normal functioning of our body. This imbalance between the supply and the demand is the crux of heart failure. Currently, existing treatment strategies are only aimed at alleviating the symptoms of heart failure patients. Unfortunately, there is no solution to fix the damaged heart, which is the root cause of this problem. But what if I tell you, after four years into my PhD, I'm now able to generate these personalized beating heart cells in a dish that can be injected to repair your damaged heart. Yes, this was made possible using stem cell technology, and this is my novel solution. In my project, I generated a special kind of stem cell called pluripotent stem cell from patients' blood ethically. These stem cells are the foundation of human life, and they have two remarkable characteristics. First, they can divide like crazy, which means I can take a single cell, and in a week's time, I can make millions of them. Second, these cells can be specialized into any cell type in your body, whether it's your brain, your skin, or your heart. So I exploit these properties of stem cells to make patient-specific heart cells. And in order to make these cells more functional and effective for transplantation, I add these safe nanomaterials to them to fix the broken heart. In conclusion, with my research of combining stem cell technology with nanotechnology, regeneration of damaged hearts can now be a reality so that people like Harper, yourself, and me we do not have to suffer anymore in the future. Thank you.